Hi y'all, I'm Ashton. I've set off on year three of solo traveling and having adventures around the world where I'm celebrating different cultures, making new friends, indulging in local cuisine, and trying exciting new things in exotic countries. There's so much of the world to be seen and to inspire us all, and I can't wait to take you with me. Subscribe and follow along. After all, to live would be an awfully big adventure. Welcome back to Astronaut Adventure. If you're just joining in, have missed a few episodes, we left beloved London. Don't worry, I'll be back. Stopped into Prague for a bit, enjoyed my birthday there, saw a bit of the beautiful Vienna, even though everything was closed for a big um, holiday that they had. We also stopped into Bratislava and spent a whole day there um, getting another country. It was absolutely wonderful and beautiful. I cannot wait to go back and spend more time there. And then, because we had a kind of an awkward little few days, I spent uh, a day and a half in Munich and just enjoyed some of the sights. And now let's head off to Ireland, y'all. Arrived. Arrived at the Munich airport. I'm almost three hours early for my flight. Good on me. Here for that. No idea where to check in. No, what's I've got two carry-ons. I've got my photography backpack and my uh, silver rolling suitcase. And then I just know I'm checking my big yellow duffel. I'm on Aer Linguis. They, A, let me get by with my bag being one kilogram overweight. And um, B, uh, let me check in my second carry-on um, for free. So that's one last thing I've got to drag through the airport. So uh, now we're going into security. There are men with very big guns here in um, Munich in security. So I made sure all of my stuff was together and hopefully I don't get flagged. I don't know. I don't know why that's so terrifying to me, but it is. Right, made it through security. No issues. Well, they did pat me down, but otherwise. which they should be arriving tomorrow morning. So, and they'll pick me up and we'll start heading across Ireland, I guess. Um, okay, yeah, that's it. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I need to regroup. No one's in the theater yet, but I still feel like I have to whisper. Um, sometimes travel <laughs> is getting to a new city and an English-speaking city and going to find the first movie theater to get some popcorn except they only had Pepsi, not Coke um, and see the new Jurassic Park because you've been wanting to see it for two weeks sometimes this is traveling well, this is long-term traveling like I'm going to be here in Ireland for two and a half weeks. So I can take an afternoon to like, just watch a dinosaur movie. In a theater by myself. And that's okay. This is a very tall needle thing. Can we just look how high up that goes? Holy crap. I don't know what that is, it's very tall. <laughs> one thing I can't get though, this is a nice Friday night pub scene. The one thing I don't get, Papa John's. Papa John's, I don't get, I don't get the Papa John's. 
Everything else is fine. This is actually not a solo travel episode. Some of you may remember my friend Megan from the Tulum and Curacao yoga videos. Uh, while this episode isn't about yoga, she did invite me to join her and her sisters for their Hello. island adventure. It's, what time is it? 11. It's 10.51 in the morning. Guinness. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Mm-hmm, as well. It's a coffee, mm -hmm. right? It's about the same color. Our first stop, straight off the airplane for them, and uh, very, very early for me, was the Guinness World Record holder for the oldest public house in Ireland, Sean's Bar. It's in Athlone uh, County and claims to be the site <laughs> of a tavern first built okay, in 900 so AD. Back in the day, in Ireland, you weren't allowed. Um, was it this room or is it the next room? The women weren't allowed to drink in the bar with men, so they had a separate room for them. I'm not sure if it's this one or the next one. It seems kind of new, so I bet it's that little yeah. one. Just blame it on the last thing. Astronaut Adventures been here. Make sure they keep it. Make sure it doesn't come on down. Alright, given permission. Stick my sticker up next to the oldest bar. Good morning, good morning. We are in Waterford, Ireland for our first uh, big thing. We got all settled yesterday. We're in an Airbnb in Ennis. Um, so today we are having high tea at the Waterford Crystal. It's not a plant. What? Waterford what? Crystal. It's not a plant. It's like a, what's the word for like? Oh, I was like, no, it's not a plant. It's crystal. No. <laughs> Production, yeah, facility. Yes. Well, so we are having tea at the Waterford Crystal, so we're all dressed up. We're freezing. I love their doors. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna check out Waterford. It was a two and a half hour drive uh, to get here. It's a little bit of a long drive, but um, we're gonna have tea and toward the facility. And uh, yeah, that's that's on today's agenda.
we did a quick AV presentation and now we are going into the factory. So this is the real factory. How they make the stemware, how they measure it, I guess. Hold it. Okay, so remember this this is the pistol bear that is in the showroom. I'm gonna come back to the bear. So they just use this grid as guidelines where the stamp finish their cuts. So they actually know the 100 pounds by number. So if we were to give the likes of number 12. Alright, and I did get a little souvenir. I got a Waterford crystal ring. Because this is about as big of a souvenir as I can get. Alright, thank you, Waterford. That was a fantastic experience. I got my ring. Megan got a. Oh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her tell you what, what she got. Megan, will you please, what did you get? What did you get? Oh my goodness, I got an LVD, a little black decanter. <laughs> so it is black and the bottom half is like oh, it's your, the cut crystal. your crystal. And it's the Lins Linzer pattern? Linzer Lins pattern. Linzen? Linsmore. Lismore. 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 Lismore pattern. We just learned it. And then it's dyed black at the top. So it's a really nice um, decanter. We're going to find her a nice bottle of scotch whiskey to take home and put in said decanter. Little black decanter. Six steps to the and top. And we're going to go through the and watch your hands. No. Through the arch to the Okay. Uh, these are not ADA approved. No. <laughs> <laughs> really big feet. They like hardly fit on the steps. Go to the further outside. Okay. First doorway. Watch your head. This is the story of Wardford itself. That story begins over 1,000 years ago when the ground beneath our feet was glimpsed from the brow of a Viking longship. So what's up the next floor? Um, oh, there's just a door up there. Oh. It's just like the, I guess, to the top. Off the 
1189. Okay, I was really wrong with the 1600s, but real close. All right, it is day two or three um, in Ireland. There's this little unmarked, it's marked, but um, it's called the Clare Abbey. And that's where we are. There was a sign that said no drones, so I cannot put up my drone, even though it would be beautiful. But it kind of looks partially like graveyard. Well, it does look like a graveyard, but part of it's the abbey, part of it's the graveyard, I'm not sure which. Um, so we're just gonna kind of see this beauty. And it's a gorgeous day in Ireland. It's probably like 65-ish degrees. Yeah. Um, and just pretty, pretty early. Clare Abbey, also known as Clare Abbey One Word, is a ruined Augustinian monastery located near the town of Ennis along the banks of the Fergus River. The abbey was founded in 1189 and was the largest and most important of the Augustinian monasteries in County Clare. After the abbey was granted to the Order of Augustinian Canons, it was the largest and most important monastery. The other Augustinian monasteries in the area are the Cannon Island Abbey, and something in and Cologne nunnery that we're headed to next. The canons regular for the order of the St. Augustine believed that their work was to care for the souls. Maybe Thus, now it's a graveyard. graveyard. The name Kimini mentioned earlier in medieval documents about this area suggests that Clare Abbey was built on a site of an earlier church and the only remains of the older structure are possibly the bullion in a block of granite and stone carving over one of the abbey's windows. Okay. But he said, he said, I greeted him, he said it was fine. He said, just keep walking. Okay. So everybody knows, don't talk to the cat. Did you lock the car? Okay. This feels weird, but we were told it was okay. Okay. Just stay on the path. Perfect. We saw the um we saw it on Google Maps and then we were told to just go this way. Yeah, no. I just I just wanted to make sure because it's private property and but Okay. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. All right, our Airbnb hostess um, told us about this. It is going out to Cologne Abbey, um, and then back behind it is St. John's Well. And the whole thing is it's located on this uh, gentleman's property. And that's why at the beginning it has all of the like, no trespassing signs, but uh, the gentleman was uh, there um, walling up, fixing the wall. Um, and everyone knows you just walk through the fence and you stay on the road and then you go to the abbey. So very, very kind gentleman lets us walk through his beautiful pastures um, to go see this abbey. So that is apparently how you're supposed to do it. That's what we were told. Um, even though it says no trespassing and I confirmed with him, I was like, it says no trespassing. He was like, no, it's fine. Okay, well, we'll go adventure on this property.
All right, you just saw a good bit of drone footage. Very excited about that. This is the abbey you just saw, and this is the graveyard that they've put in. I guess that was, I don't know, I'll have to do some research on that, but it kind of seems like they made the abbeys into cemeteries later on because they were holy spaces or and not being used for anything. Because this is the second one today that has all of the gravestones and has made been made a cemetery for, so maybe. And it's the same thing here, even inside where the abbey used to be. This is obviously, there was roofs. There are these flat plot, these flat spaces are all plots or grave markers. So yeah. All right, so the abbey's right up there. We just came down the hill. We saw Here this. Oh, and this is, this is fancy. This is how you get in without letting the cow in. Okay, get in. Let me pull this. Oh. There's old water and there's the well. Oh, and the spider web. And a lot ooh, of roots. Like a whole. Start with the creed. Five Our Fathers, Five Hail Marys. Hmm. Interesting. Is that it down there? I've seen too many horror movies for this, if we're being honest. So you can go in first. I'm not going in there. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these areas, either this area or that area or that area <laughs> that are all covered with Jesus and Mary, um, one of those is the well that these sign called St. John's Well. This is just down the hill from the Abbey. There are actually some kids cliff jumping right there. All right, we are leaving the Abbey. I think we're gonna go find a pub. I think that sounds really great. We've done some outdoorsing, and now we need to do some day drinking. Okay. Talking about how we need to do some day drinking. It's time. It's time. All right, Founder Pub. Sorry. Sorry, thanks. Let's go get our. Let's do a little Uh, the fish and fish and chips of sorts. Okay, shepherd's pie, shepherd's pie, shepherd's pie. What did you? What are you waiting on? Basically, oh, okay. What even time is it? This is what happens when you leave a dark pub. We've we've been drinking. Brogans. He said left, and then it, why is it so ghost town around here? Okay. Well, it's eight o'clock at night. And okay, Monday. it's eight o'clock. It's Are you, you're still bright and sunny. Yes, I'm. Yes, of course I am. She is. We're gonna keep going. Uh, we had a few drinks at Patio Quinn's. We met a few characters. Look how purple my teeth are from drinking red wine. What's the difference between a lass, a lad? We met some lads. Lads. We are la lass or lassies. Lass. Lass. I don't know. Okay, we're going to find another pub and some food. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button so you never miss an adventure and follow the daily adventures over on Instagram and TikTok.